the rain of you jamaica premier league continues with the second edition of monday night football for this 2020 324 season and we're live from the National Stadium East Field for uh, these uh, matchups and the first up on the agenda Malines United against Arnett Gardens. Malines United have been in the league for quite a few seasons now so the head to head between them and Arnett Gardens it's not a, a long rich history but I can tell you that the last five times they met it didn't necessarily go in their favor, just the three-all draw, which was an exciting affair, uh, that encounter a couple of seasons ago. But really and truly, they haven't beaten Arnett Gardens in eight outings. And the first time that they met in the 2019-2020 season was the only time that they would have beaten the junglists. And, uh, but since then, no such luck as they've either drawn or lost. In fact, they have, uh, what, two draws in all of uh, that. Well, they have lost the majority of uh, those fixtures or four draws rather and losing three while winning just the one Malines United. Chris Taylor is with me in the commentary box. I'd uh, like to know your thoughts on this matchup between uh, Malines United and Arnett Gardens. I think it will be a lot closer than previous encounters where Arnett Gardens have totally dominated them. 5-1 the last time they met and 2-1 they did a double last season Arnett Gardens but when you look at this Arnett Gardens team, they've lost so many players, so many instrumental players. Their leading goal scorer, Fabian Reed, no Marlon in there. Their captain, Romeo Guthrie, no longer with the club. The instrumental creator, Inajuma Johnson, not there. So it's a new look Arnett Gardens team who are trying to find their footing. And Malines, a, a, a team that has, has, has competed well in the last fixture last week. You saw a lot of improvements in terms of their defensive capability. They themselves have lost a big player, Nicholas Nelson, who partnered Jason Wright to many goals last season. In fact, over 20 goals between them, Jason Wright and Nicholas Nelson. So I would like to think that Malines, actually, the gap not that big today. I wouldn't be surprised if it is decided by the odd goal. Well, you spoke with Xavier Gilbert earlier today in terms of um, his ex expectations for uh, this game and, 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 and for the season you would have an understanding of what he anticipates. It's not the first time that he would be under pressure in, in a short space of time, so to speak. He's had to do something similar with the reggae girl setup, having to step up to the plate in, at the last moment. But now that he's on the sidelines for his first game of the season, what are you anticipating from him? I think he has had a lot on his plate, Xavier Gilbert. As I said, he's, he's quite distracted. So I think in this setup, he might very much rely on the well, likes of gentlemen. Decoy Williams and Garnet Lawrence as well to, to guide him. I'm not sure how much of the training sessions he would have been present at Xavier Gilbert just because of his national responsibilities. But based on how he was speaking, he was encouraged in terms of what he has seen in a training camp. Yes, they have lost, they have lost a lot and him being appointed was a big deal as well. But as you said, he's been around a long time, quite a bit of experience. Not a lot of experience in the Premier League, though. So I think he'll still be finding his footing at this, at this level. Well, Arne Guns in their full white kit. And it's a wonderful kit, isn't it? Not their traditional full red and black. But they'll be going up against Mullines United in their full blue kit. And uh, both of these teams are wanting to show a lot after uh, playing out to... A couple of goalless draws on match day one, really wanting to get out of first gear, so to speak, and and really push, kickstart their campaign this season. And you're talking about two of the top four scoring teams last season. Arnett Gardens, there was a leading scorers last season with 48 goals, and Malines were in fourth, yet unable to score. And it's because of that talent that they have lost up front, the cohesion up front. It's a changed look in both front lines, yeah, 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 and it will yeah, take yeah, them a while yeah, before it becomes seamless. Well, these are the officials for today's game. Christopher Mason is the man in charge, assisted by Joshua Jackson and Shireen Allain. Stefan Dua is the fourth official. Jason Wright, of course, is the captain of Malines United on the right, and we already spoke about Joel Cunningham, captain of Arnett Gardens.
So this is how Malines United will line up. They have made a couple of changes to their starting lineup. And we see Tajay Cooper coming in uh, to the back, the number three. He'll be alongside Jaheim Palmer, Taraj Andrews, and Enrique Gordon. Maximus Davis, of course, is the one between the sticks in the middle of the patch. Javon Brown on the left, Rashawn Livingston on the right, Jeremy Nelson and Marvin Williams down the middle behind strikers Jason Wright and Thorne Simpson in a 4-4-2, Chris Taylor. Yeah, 4-4-2, Thorne Simpson preferred up front to Tevin Scott. This is trying to find that combination for Jason Wright who couldn't quite get going in the first game. Had some good looks, Jason Wright, but unable to convert. Tajay Cooper, the 19-year-old from Trelawney, gets a, a, a big start. Richardo White is now between the sticks instead of Eric uh, Edwards. Uh, they have a back four, Philander Wing, Rashawn Amos, Joel Cunningham and DeAndre Cunningham unchanged. In the middle of the park, Marlon Martin, Jamon Shepard, Jaheim Thomas unchanged. And up top, Warner Brown will play through the middle. Kimani Arboin has been shifted to the left. Shea Smith still on the right. Right move, I think Warner Brown, they're playing in a 4-3-3. I think Warner Brown more of a natural striker. I think Kimani Arboin with his ingenuity and his work rate better in the flank areas not a natural striker Kimani Arborn as you could see even in the first game with the couple looks that he got match day two on the way in the Ray Nevue Jamaica Premier League and immediately the ball is given to to Smith and Smith just finding Shepard who allows Anik Gans to really start from the back again Get in the sense that they want to be as patient as possible, especially with the, the fact that almost in a, a newish environment, a couple of new players, especially in the engine in the middle of the park. We speak of Jamon Shepard as well, who has made his way across from Harbour View to be with the junglists, hoping to start a new chap chapter himself, their number seven. But here they are in transition. Arboin, familiar territory for him on the left, trying to get Jaheim Thomas in play. Opportunity, this one dinked inside the area. Warner Brown getting some help from Thomas on his right foot. Back out wide. Wings delivery, headed away. He's so good at that, Jason Wright, in keeping up the play and trying to get his teammates involved. Warner Brown applying the pressure, picked up by Smith. Smith on his left foot, drives it straight to the keeper. And he had to be behind that one, seeing that one, but none of the movement he had to make. Maximus Davis between the sticks. Still no Peter Harrison, not fit yet to start. Peter Harrison came back into this training squad a bit late. And Davis, a man from Port Antonio, getting some opportunities. Alec Gunn still with the possession. Arborn was trying to nick in there, but couldn't quite get there and it goes the other way they try to move forward but there's an infringement on the play and Simpson was brought down Alex Thomas of course is the man in charge of Malines United very used to the setting of uh, well playing against Arnett Gardens and of course he was their head coach at one stage Jeremy Nelson with a dink inside the area at the back post a shot coming in was weak Arnett Gardens still trying to clear their lines unable to do so well here they are again coming forward laid inside the, the connection wasn't quite made back to Enrique Gordon, who needs to be involved in the attacks in order for Malines to be a dangerous unit. But here comes Warner Brown running into traffic. Wasn't the smartest thing to do. And he loses possession and gave up the possession. Free kick to Malines United. Xavier Gilbert, of course, on the sidelines of the Rainview Jamaica Premier League for the first time this season. Missed out on match day one because he had a other engagements with a 
national women's senior team. Garnet Lawrence beside him, who sat in last week in their match. But to mention Enrique gone, great to see him getting forward. I think he might be integral for my lines if they're going to add more in terms of attack, even though he's defending now. Arboin plays it inside the area. Oh, and the snapshot is taken from Warner Brown. There was a deflection, and it is a, a corner kick to Arne Gardens. Yeah, just managing to get the shot away. Brown, but uh, it was charged down. And now on the guns, they have the corner kick. Shepard is the one who is across to take the first corner kick of the match. And referee Christopher Mason not quite ready. It was a, a bit of argy barge inside the area. Shepard's deliver inside. Couldn't get by the first man. Here's a shot from distance. Brilliant. He did crack that one. And Philando Wing with a scorcher. And that's how you get your first goal in the National Premier League. He will not forget this moment, Wing. And what a strike that was. Picked it up has always been a dangerous player, Wing. This time, good connection. Davis might be disappointed he didn't do better. Bounce in front of him, but my word, it was an awkward bounce for Davis, who is not the tallest and too much pace on it and yeah wing picking up his first and former jc player philander wing has picked up this new position at left back and has been doing pretty well for the junglers who continue their dominance over this malines team well here's jason wright looking to respond the dink inside the area and no problems there for richardo white <laughs> So Ani Gans with the advantage and they're looking to, to capitalize once more. Shepard. Shepard plays this one inside. And uh, Malayan United will defend that one easily. Was there a late touch there? Referee Mason says play on. And Malayan United will come away with it. Now there was a late challenge. That was a little bit more obvious from Arboin. Or was it from Wing? Yeah, Wing with the late touch on Livingston. Good skill from Livingston as well. Is a is a player that can be dangerous from the wide areas. Yeah, wing certainly with the late touch, the goal scorer. Three goals last season for Rashawn Livingston. There's a ball played long inside the area, headed away. Shepard on the no pressure managed to get a, a second header on it. So far, Gordon looking to drive forward. I like that in Enrique Gordon. We saw a lot of that when he was playing for Falkland. Yep, he's a man from the Far East. Well, not too far. We're talking about St. Thomas, uh, Enrique Gordon. Well, it is the most Eastern parish. Mm. Mm. It is. <laughs> Well, there's also Portland. I was just trying to, to to throw that in there as well. Yeah. Northeast. <laughs> Depending on where you go in Portland. So Livingston gets a touch forward. Wright tries to return the favor. Livingston gets it back inside the area. Livingston, oh, he dragged that well past the near post. You could see what he was trying to do here. But uh, didn't make a proper connection. There was a deflection, though. 
Yes. Slight deflection over the top from right into the area. Fortuitous way it got to him. He was always going for the near post. Yeah, though. he Might was. have been better suited for the far. And yeah, good block coming in. Livingston to take this himself. Oh, that wasn't good at all. And uh, couldn't do much with the follow-up as well. Malines United's number 11. Right has been everywhere so far. Brown trying to get more and more into the action. He's needed as well. Anikan's trying to break. This is Shea Smith. Smith. Shepard. Arboine. Wing again. Wing pulls it back. And Warner Brown. You expect him to bury that one. Yeah, such a good goal scorer at St. St. Andrew Technical. Warner Brown in schoolboy football. Started his Premier League career at Tivoli. Did score a handful of goals. And in the six-yard box is where he's so clinical. Needed a much better finish. Love the smoothness of the surface here at the Stadium Eastfield. They've done a lot of work. They've done a good job. The groundsmen can sometimes get a little bit heavy, which does affect shooting and the movement of the ball. But yeah, wonderfully smooth and even. I think it had to get some rest over the last few weeks. We're, we're used to seeing so many matches in schoolboy football being played on the surface, and it hasn't been the case this season. Thomas, they called him National, with a driving run and looking for options. And uh, that wasn't the best one for him. Livingston picks it up now. Hasn't been on his A game as yet. Martin. Well, that was poor from him. Tries to recover. Right. Livingston now. Livingston looking for Simpson. Headed away. Not convincingly, but does find a teammate. And things will settle down once again for Anit Gardens. Shepard evading one challenge. DeAndre Cunningham. Javon Brown with it. Jason Wright again trying to thread that one through. Clarence made only as far as Enrique Gordon. Gordon's delivery inside. Not quite mayhem. Yeah, not a lot uh, enough players inside the air. This was a chance for Arnett Gardens. Look at his pass. Questions of offside. Did open up his body well, Warner Brown, but just didn't generate the pace. To give my lines credit, apart from their goalkeeper, there was a defender on the line at the far post as well who would probably have made a block. Surprised that maybe Warner Brown didn't go to lift it into the net, which would have made it a, a more difficult block for the defender. But yeah, good passing from Arnett Gardens, and again, it was winging the wide areas. Hold 
Brown felt that, just now recovering. Malines United having difficulty in going through the thirds. Shea Smith has Brown for company, was trying to force the pass to him. It wasn't quite on. Now Brown also trying to force the pass that wasn't quite on. Don Simpson has been starved of the ball so far. But he does look an imposing figure, the number nine, Simpson, for Malines United. Last season, Malines United would have picked up two wins in their first four games. But in their next 13, they picked up just another two wins. And it was only in the latter part of the season where they kind of came into their own, threatened for a playoff spot, even though it was an outside chance, a yellow card is shown. Yeah, poor challenge coming in from Philander Wing. It's the second time he's been late, and this time overly aggressive. Just look at this. Good work by Enrique Gordon as well. He is a talented player. Well, look at that. Definitely not challenging for the ball at all. And just 15 minutes in, Wing will have to be careful. Still on a high from scoring the goal. Philander Wing. But he has more work to do. Long ball centre field. Arboin winning that header. Kept alive by Jeremy Nelson, who was wondering where was the support in following up his header. Late lunge. Referee said it was okay-ish. And Livingston goes on the outside. And that's a lovely ball inside. And the header is magnificently saved by Richardo White, denying Jason Wright his first this season. Well, there's the best of Rashawn Livingston. We've been looking out for it, taking on two players. That first step, always good from Livingston, gets himself away from the opponent. And that was a magnificent delivery. The header from Jason Wright, a little bit too central. Credit to White. And it looked spectacular, but that's a save that you'd expect him to make nine out of ten times. Needed to find the corner right. Ball coming inside the area, and the whistle goes. And it's going to be a free kick to Arnett Gardens. Nice delivery on that occasion, again from Livingston from the corner, so improved. W one thing I liked about the save by Richardo White is that when the ball came across, he didn't overcompensate, and usually keepers, they, they, they go as far to the far post as they possibly can. But he, he stopped, and I think maybe Jason Wright was thinking of the possible overcompensation and just tried to nod it where it came from. But White was in Ended up the too right central though. Yeah. position, Livingston. That didn't quite come off for Marvin Williams, and it's a goal kick once again to Arnett Gardens. Different dimension up front for Alex Thomas when they had Nicholas Nelson last season. So energetic, so quick, makes a lot of those runs in the little pocket. Stone, Simpson more of a a point player. A much different proposition. Nelson as well was able to drop into midfield roles. Martin again gives it up. Hasn't been so sharp to date. Simpson in the box. Simpson trying to toe poke it past Richardo White. Or maybe I'm giving him a little bit too much credit there. Maybe it was just a missed kick. But a, a really another big opportunity for Malines United. Now it goes the other way. And uh, Thomas plays it outside. And it's come across the area. And that's an own goal. Well, Warner Brown applied the pressure inside the area. And the Malines United defense, they were at sixes and sevens. Maybe Brown got a touch in the end, who knows? But he runs off celebrating. And Malines United are in deep trouble. Trailing on the guns by two goals to nil. 
Yeah, not the best defending. It's the kind of defending we saw from them last season. Tajay Cooper, I think, with a final touch. Oh, no, it actually did come off of Warner Brown. It will be his goal. Tajay Cooper trying to clear. Toe poked it, and it came off the boot of Warner Brown into the back of the net. So the first of the season for Warner Brown. <laughs> and you can understand the rise smile. Didn't expect that kind of finish, but he'll take it. And yeah, well, just the kind of start that Arnett Gardens have been making against Malines. And obviously mentally, as you said, they're just comfortable against this Malines unit. Eight wins. Well, just one win for Malines in nine attempts. But what a good build-up it was from Arnett Gardens. National, as you call him, Jaheim Thomas, with the nice work in the middle of the park, anyhow. Livingston on his left. How do they get out of the situation? That's the question. Malines United, and just when you start starting to see a little bit of confidence building and growing with a couple of chances that they would have had, Shepard says he's all right. Honey guns again. Trying to come forward, this one is put into touch and it's a throw into Arnett Gardens. Yep. He's that type of goal scorer, Warner Brown, in and around the area. A poacher, pouncing on slips and mistakes, and that was certainly the case just now. As Arnett Gardens go 2-0 up, this is our boy. Arboine drives it, deflected it in! Oh my word! Calamitous for Malines United! Everything going against them! Shots deflected into the net. Arnett Gardens training it up now, but Arboine will take it. And that's his first this season. And he gives a thumbs up to the bench. And he doesn't know where to look. Alex Thomas. Well, imagine thinking that this match would have been the odd goal, would have been a lot closer, but Arnett Gardens really putting distance between themselves and Malines. This unfortunate space for Kimani Arboin in the wide area, which is, I, I think he's better in the wide areas, Arboin. Cutting on to the right foot, it was a good strike, you know, but I think Maximum, Maximus Davis would have had it covered. And the deflection, well, unfortunate from a, from a Malines perspective, but Arboin would be happy to get off the mark. Last season, just one goal for him. And considering it was, a, it was quite a frustrating season for him, even though Arnett did, Gardens did so well. After the 2021 season where he came off his best goal scoring period, seven goals he scored that year. Good to see him getting something early. Well, Malines United, they're going to the bench early. I think that's Steve Reed who's getting ready to come on. And he's replacing Marvin Mil Williams. Well, well, well. What do you make of that change, Chris? Yeah, well, I guess not happy with the midfield play, Alex Thomas. Things just too easy. 
Veronic Gardens. Flemings maybe a bit more experienced. Both former Portmore players. But it's actually Reed who is going in. Maybe a little bit more steel in the middle. Williams, former Portmore player. Nelson. Javon Brown. That didn't miss by much. Yep. That's a proper left foot. Javon Brown. No problems on this occasion for Maximus Davis. Livingston. United with an opportunity here to pull to pull one back. Ball coming inside the area, headed away. Brown trying to keep it in line for Malay United. Again, an opportunity. Nice move, right, but he was always under pressure to be back on the receiving end of that flick he created. Gordon Flemings left the ball behind but wins it back and Nelson at the back post kept alive Torn Simpson is there Sim Simpson didn't have a lot of time but he still wins it uh, they were trying to set up Jason Wright as well. Oh, that's a lovely touch from Smith, you know. Finding Shepard who returns the favor. And Smith is striding down that right-hand side and was clipped. Was he? He was. Hey, 
Wing. Our boy. Back to wing. On the byline, pulls it across. It's a free shot here for Thomas. Wide of the mark. Probably the first touch was his best. Not shy in front of goal, Jaheim Thomas, but needed a better finish. Yeah, that first touch was a little bit lousy considering his standards and ended up having to snatch at it. Jaheim Thomas, four goals he scored last season. And that should probably have been the first this season. Just too easy in and around the 18-yard box for Anik Garden Zone. My line's allowing way too much space. And they are not being afforded the same courtesy at the other end. Jason Wright, apologetic in the immediate aftermath of that challenge. And uh, tries to offer a helping hand and it's received in the end by Marlon Martin. Download the Sports Max Act today from the Google Play or the App Store and uh, keep in touch with a lot of the sporting events all over the world and uh, yeah just keep in touch with all the happenings on the sports max app our boy martin out wide collected nicely and he was brought down beyond very cunningham yeah, by the substitute Flemings. We did want at some stage because of the change of numbers of, of the gear, of the kit, if it was actually Flemings, but it is Johnny Flemings. One Portmore man replacing another with Williams going out. Cunningham can deliver these. Shepard, oh, nicely done. The flick out wide. And uh, Malines United trying to capitalize and right. Tripping over himself. Malines United really not getting the rub of the green so far in this game. As I said, the surface is very smooth, but still a bit heavy. You can see how the ball moves across it quite slow. At times, the players have to drag it along. And I think sometimes that has inhibited them a bit. Cunningham. Shepard. Swings it over to Arboin. Wing. Arboin. Again. Thomas. Shepard, Arboine, Arboine! He was allowed acres of space inside the box. And you cannot give that to Kimani Arboine. That's his second of the game. And down at Gardens, absolutely cock a hoop now with the 4 0 advantage of Omelines United. I would have to say, Donald, that's one of the goals of the season. And we haven't had many so far. But I just love the patience of Arnett Gans. How they have taken their time. Sheer the ball well. Nice one-touch passing. And again, a deflected finish from Arboin. But only one he scored last season. And he has two already. That was heading towards the far corner. Deflected and in. But lovely build-up from Arnett Gardens. Spreading the ball wide. Using the midfield as well. Short five-yard runs, making a big difference, and Mullins unable to handle it. And Arne Gardens, they are looking for more. <laughs> I'm sure the junglists and the supporters who were inside the Anthony Spawning Sports Complex last Monday probably wondering where the heck was this performance. So much for a close fixture. Mm. Here comes Malines United. Oh. Ken can't get past the back line of Arnett Gardens. Right, 
And they're taking it easy at the moment through Cunningham. And Martin. Amos does well. Martin. Philando Wing. Arboin. Wasn't the touch he expected to make he was expected to make. Nelson. That's a good challenge on Nelson. No. Probably went through Nelson. Obviously went through Nelson. Jeremy Nelson. It was a ball in hope than anything else. Palmer. Livingston. Livingston again with the ball high inside for Thorne Simpson. Not clear properly. But the look not just. Well, the look is just not going in favor of Malay United as Arne Gans trying to get out of their own half now. Feels as if it's a training session for them at the moment. No intensity shown by the Malay United players. It does help with the fact that they are facing down the barrel here. Yeah, way too easy. And at that time, Alliance United sitting way too deep. The back line, including that man, Andrews and Cooper, not pushing up the Malayans team enough. So almost welcoming and giving up their whole, the entire midfield to Arnett Gardens. And with quick wide players like what they have, Arboin and Smith, you just can't afford that because they will find ways around you in and around the 18-yard area as they have done so far. Brown to Livingston. Livingston. Jenny is uh, on the grounds here. She's in the stands with uh, some spectators, I believe, Jenny. This is the Ray and Nephew fan spirit, and I am here with Mr. Alwyn. Sir, this match is, you, well, you told me that you just came from work, right? Yeah. You are an Arnett Gardens fan. I want to hear what, what you're feeling about this match so far. Well, much exciting so far. Arnett Garden control the game from start and four love. Good feeling so far. But I have to ask you something. You tell me that you came here when the second goal scores. So how you know that them controlling the ball from the start? Yeah, man, well, you can't see the play, you know. You can't see it on it. Head and heels over them like a team, you know. On it, on it, never. <laughs> so you feel like the earthquake this morning shake them up a little bit. <laughs> get them ready for today's match between Molines because Molines is having a hard time right now. We see Arnett Guard is doing their thing. Do you think that they had anything to do with it? Yeah, man, earthquake. Um, everybody feel earthquake because when it shaped me, I never feel it though. Well, 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 <laughs> when it shaped me, didn't have the barber chair and things, so you know, kind of shape, but on it, man, on it, on it, favor. Okay, well, you said that you left work and came here. You got an early day and you came to Monday Night Football. If you never got an early day, would you still come to Monday Night Football? Oh, well, I'm self employed still, you know, so me just leave work and just come on match. Anytime on it, I am there. Well, you are enjoying the match so far, and if you aren't here yet and on your way, come down to Monday Night Football. It's a lot of exact, e exciting action with the Ray and Nephew sponsor, Jamaica Premier League. Back to you, Donald and Chris. It's exciting, but it's one-sided. I can tell you that. As uh, we see fans in the stands, attuned with what's happening on the home of champions. On a guns, comfortably in front. In this one, Chris Taylor. Almost anticlimactic, almost. 
Yeah. And Gans would probably say as he's tuned into his Force Max app, watching live and then able to catch the replays and so on or anything that they may have missed. In fact, initially at the second goal, it was announced as an own goal. And I'm sure if he was watching his Sports Mass app as, with, as, as well as them, he would have known that Warner Brown got that important touch to add his first of the season. So do download the Sports Mass app from the Google Play or the App Store. In tuned, you need to be with yeah. the Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League and other things. It is a way of life, isn't it? Well, it certainly <laughs> is. Must say, very user-friendly, easy as well, once you go on the app to find all the options available. Smooth streaming, as they would say. Indeed. Nelson and company, not quite smooth sailing for them. <laughs> <laughs> and optimized by that way would pass. Yeah. Heard Janet talking about the earthquake. Well, they obviously felt a tsunami as well. Yeah, they, they have been overwhelmed. Mm. Casual Arnicans they have been. They need to remain professional. And the Lions need a reply quickly. Going into the half, if they could get a goal back. It might just make for some excitement in the second half. Ball inside the area. Oh, that's wonderful from Andrews. And the shot trickles wide. And Jeremy Nelson. Yeah, that, that was a poor finish from Nelson. Almost half expected him to put his laces through it. Look at this skill from Andrews, though. Lovely. Just to get rid of wing mm. but yeah Nelson that was a poor finish four goals he scored last season Jeremy Nelson he's been around a long time has scored 16 in his Premier League career and with so much space at the six yard line he's got to be hitting a target that was a goal that Malines needed just to keep themselves in check Smith now on the left hand side Simpson almost with a mindset of you know he's going to do things himself now <laughs> Col collecting that one deep then causing the foul Thomas hasn't been at his sharpest but he has been influential Jaheim Thomas same can be said for Jason Wright who's on it now Nelson Simpson, Jason Wright to the byline. Wright, lovely. Wright, good block. And that goes behind for a corner kick to Malines United. And some form of life shown by Malines. Quite a handful, Jason Wright. 14 goals he scored last season. Don't take him lightly. Hasn't had a lot of help so far. Quality help, I should say. Went to the near post. But yeah, low centre of gravity, skillful, able to turn both ways and willing to shoot on either foot. Kornicke comes in. Header away. It's in a dangerous area, though, and the whistle goes. There was a handled ball there somewhere. Christopher Mason. Referee put on the FIFA panel at the start of this year. Policeman as well. We spoke last week about how many policemen they were involved in officiating and especially in refereeing as well. Stefan Duau is a part of this quartet, he's a policeman himself. And the JCF making big strides in the field of refereeing. Is there that's Flemings
Brown has lost it. Arboin does really well, keeping his balance and the possession. Oh, goodness me. And then the touch was brilliant too. And, well, the referee says play on. And Anikan still with the possession though. And the ball overcooked. We're hearing that two minutes of stoppages will be played at the end of the 45. Mullines United despondent. Gordon. Brown striding forward. Oh, collects that one well. Brown inside the area. Oh, that's a wonderful challenge coming in from Rashawn Amos, and the ball comes across and it's headed away. A shot from distance again. Goes well wide of the mark. That was from their left back, Jaheim Palmer. I think that's Amos on the turf. Yeah, he's all right. Cunningham, the captain. Cool customer there. Anywhere will do. Corner kick for Onnit Gardens. Just the second corner of the game. Shepard. Thomas. Arboin. Mm. Didn't have a lot of ideas there. And the Lions United. What can they do with the possession? Nelson. German Nelson on it, looking for options and finding one in Javon Brown. Right, comes out of the air to collect and then turns it around the corner and the ball across the face of goal. Should he finish Livingston? Livingston still. And eventually, Arne Gans managing to clear their lines. And they still don't concede in this half. And uh, they are running away with this as a contest. They have scored four goals, a couple from this man here, Kimani Arboin, after Philando Wing had opened the scoring. And uh, Warner Brown also in the thick of things as well for the junglists who are in charge here at the National Stadium East Field. Leading Malines United by four goals to nil.
So, a little bit later on, Waterhouse will do battle with Mont Montego Bay United in Monday Night Football. You can catch that on Sports Max 2. La Liga continues on the home of champions tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock for ECT Las Palmas against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, 4 0 in favor of Arnett Gardens over Malines United. It's been a performance of dominance. And even then, they've really had the rub of the green, a couple of deflections. Warner Brown benefiting from one of them. Kemane Arbwine has scored a couple of goals himself. There he is. He would consider himself to be bang in form. Philander Wing was the one who opened the floodgates for the junglists. And the second half is going to get on the way now. Arnick Gardens in the full white will be kicking towards downtown Kingston. And uh, Malines United will be going towards the Blue Mountain Range. How will Malines United respond? Will they make this respectable? Trying to thread that one through didn't quite come off. Smith, back to Cunningham. Shepard, Smith, nicely done. DeAndre Cunningham inside. Oh, that's a bit of a slip up from Amos. He needs to recover. Simpson getting support from Jason Wright, who lays it out wide. Nelson, Wright. There was a deflection on it. Corner kick to Malines United. Good start from Malines. Nice build up play. Good turn by Nelson. Good turn as well by Wright, but they forced him away from goal, so it cut the angle for him and bought his back to get in the block. That's more like it from Malines, though. Malines and I with the fourth corner kick. Here it comes. Not a bad delivery. Had to be punched away. Livingston on it. You expect Malay United to have more of a foothold in this second half because you almost anticipate Anikans to kind of take their foot off the gas. They are in charge of this one. Here they come on the gardens, a challenge coming in. Tajay Cooper. Yeah, good challenge from Cooper. Deflection from Warner Brown is the call. Much to the surprise of the Arnett Gardens number nine. But Malines United had a couple of interesting facts to their name from last season. They were only in one scoreless game 
and that was against Harborview. They've already started their campaign this season with a, a goalless draw. And the thing about being in goalless games, or not being in goalless games, is the fact that they most times score. They have a free kick now after Livingston was clipped by DeAndre Cunningham. And Malines United, they're hoping now to score. Jaheim Palmer is behind this. He doesn't have a bad left foot. The wall constructed, two man wall. Here comes the kick. Brown. Javon Brown through the crowd. No issues there for Ricardo White. Now here comes the junglers. Warner Brown sending it out wide. First touch was a really good one from Arboine. Cutting inside. Kimani Arboine trying to cut it back again. But Shepard on it. Shepard. Couldn't quite curl that one back inside the danger area. Thomas Arboine left it. Captain Cunningham across to DeAndre Cunningham. Here is Smith. Thomas was clipped by Nelson. Amos looking to switch the play. Shepard. Keeps it in, Livingston. Palmer's ball inside, keeper backtracking. Almost hurting himself in the process, Richardo White.
Livingston again in the attacking third. Couldn't supply the pass needed. Brown does well. Shepard tries to do better. Livingston. Challenge coming in from Cunningham. Was timed well, according to referee Mason, and Smith is on it. Anne Garden may put this out of play. so that Smith can get some attention. Shepard also being fouled. And Smith is getting some attention now as you take a look at the Malines United bench. Stretcher is out for Smith, but I don't think he's going to take it. He's not that kind of player at all. You know, Shea Smith has a sister, Cassandra Smith of Excelsior, who is a, a fabulous football player in her own right, would have been called up to the national youth team on a, on a couple of occasions. Also coached by Xavier Gilbert at Excelsior High, one of the up-and-coming talents for the junior women's program so he's coaching the family Xavier Gilbert so obviously a special relationship between him and Shea Smith although this doesn't look too good at all and a couple of changes being made by Arnick Gardens as they hope to continue their control of this game yeah, Evans coming on, the St. Lucian played at right back last season. Interesting where he plays this season. It seems like he's playing more of a central role. Evans. Malines United are wide and Livingston on it at the back post kept alive barely balls played through the keeper off his line <laughs> he does enough thought all is going to be a difficult proposition for Livingston to go through the crowd Thomas So Evans has gone into that defensive midfield role where Martin was. Quite defensive in his own right, Evans. But as I said, did play as right back and started pretty well in that position for Arnett Gardens. Plays for St. Lucian national team as well. Shanoi Evans. Yeah. Plays with both feet so I'm sure you'll be able to adapt quite well to the holding midfield role 
although he does do that as well as we see the foul on Cunningham and the yellow card being shown to Jeremy Nelson. Just to confirm the booking on Jeremy Nelson. It was a wild lunge, wasn't it? Luckily for him, he didn't make much contact. Shepard. Yeah, so there's Evans, 28 years old. He actually also played for double connection in the semi-professional league in Trinidad and Kevon McGregor has come on for the injured Shea Smith. We saw some bandage on the the leg of Smith as well, so obviously he had some concern before the game. Oh, lovely touch. Warner Brown. Brown sends it out wide to Shepard. It's across the face of goal. And Jamon Shepard still looking for his first Jamaica Premier League goal. And he probably thought he had it there. Yeah, he'll have to wait a little bit longer. Good build up by Annette Garns yet again. Got to be hitting the target there, Shepard. Look at that. Just outside the six yard area. The entire far post keeping. Uh, Shepard couldn't find the target. Disappointing. He was being hauled and pulled there, wasn't he? He's been in the trenches, Thorne Simpson, but doesn't have a lot to show for it as yet. They move quickly, Malines United. Shot was blocked though, and the follow through has brought down the Arne Gardens defender. Ball comes across again, and it's going to be held by White. And uh, he's going to need some attention as well. It was a captain who went down after making the block. Joel Cunningham. White feeling the effects as well. Slightly better half from Mullines, but still not getting enough 18-yard action. A little bit more narrow in terms of defence, which is good to see. See for Gilbert having words with Gerald Neal. Over the last two or three seasons has been a, a mainstay in the Arnett Garden starting lineup. Actually unusual to see him on the bench. Was forced to the bench after being injured for quite a while. Didn't quite force his way back into the starting lineup and has started the season on the bench as well. Livingston, predictable and was robbed. Thomas. Cunningham with acres of space in front of him. <laughs> yeah, he, he would want to see that again on the highlights reel. Saw him score a really good goal against Mount Pleasant last season in the playoffs. Of course, they would have gone on to lose over the course of two legs. Arnett Gardens to... Mount Pleasant at Sabina Park. Oh, this ball has come all the way through. And Arnett Gardens finally clearing. And here's Warner Brown. Oh, good strength utilized. Putting the striker. Good player, Tajay Cooper. Just 19 years of age. Warner Brown, not much older. And Cooper, who was a part of the All Da Costa team, one of the standout centre backs in last year's Da Costa Cup. In fact, one of the standout centre backs in all of schoolboy football last season. 
it's been a tough introduction to the Premier League for him. His team down 4 0, but he's made a couple of telling challenges so far, and that was the latest of them. In fact, when playing for William Nib, like to get forward quite a bit. He was almost like an overlapping centre back if there's such a thing. Well, he's not afforded that luxury in the Premier League. That's cool boy football, yes, but definitely not in the Premier League. Get got forward quite a bit. Remember in his purple, green and white. Scored quite a few goals, scored about over half a dozen goals as well. And pretty good passer when he does involve himself in the midfield. But yeah, predominantly a centre back. There's one of those range passes. Yep, still not finding the target though, that's the issue. Ball over the top. Pretty accurate. McGregor. Thomas. Straight. To Maximus Davis. Tonight we will be pleased with, pleased with what has happened so far in the second half. Palmer sends this one inside and the keeper has missed it and the clearance is made. Not too far out though. Brown tries to find the open net and could not. Yeah, not sure, sure so sure what happened with White but luckily for him Brown couldn't find the target came for it here White not sure what happened his captain was there to clear and quite rightly Brown looking to find the empty net did take a deflection it will be a corner when play restarts well Malines tonight will be making a couple of changes themselves Thorn Simpson who has been in the graveyard shift comes out Tevin Scott comes on in his stead. Rashawn Livingston is taken out of the park, off the park. And uh, Tyreek O'Connor comes on to replace him. may come on. Yeah, it did look a, a little bit like crap, didn't it? But the, the, the signal is being made that uh, Richard White won't be able to continue. I hope he's fully warmed up, Eric. Edwards. Edwards, of course, 26 years old, but experienced in his own right, would have won the 2017-18 season with Port United. Also played for Dunby Holden for a bit, for a couple of years, starting in 2018. Why it will be considered unfortunate here but Edwards who started 
on match day one comes on in his stead. A little bit strange that it has started back as a goal kick. Well, referee Mason did signal corner initially. I guess he had a change of heart. Can't remember seeing a deflection from the effort from Brown, though. Here's Nelson. Nelson skips by a challenge. Scott. O'Connor. They have a lot to work on. See Vassar Reynolds also on the bench alongside Alex Thomas. Oh, he's robbed in a dangerous area. Palmer's born inside the area. Oh, was that Fleming's, I believe? Ball over the top. Flag stays down. On his right. Arboin again looking for a hat trick. And here is Thomas. Bit of cramp setting in after that effort. He's probably going to be taken out, Jaheim Thomas. We did speak about the slightly heavy surface, and it does take a toll of the legs. We are at the beginning of the season. He has put in a lot of work in that midfield role, Thomas. Flemings. Again, again. Brown. Probably tempted to shoot. Probably should have gone with his gut there. Tried to supply the pass. And well. Yep, yellow card comes out. And uh, Taraj Andrews goes into the referee's book. Didn't want Warner Brown to get away there. It's been an interesting battle between those two. Looks as if our boy is going to be taken out. So he may not get his hat trick. Maybe there'll be one other opportunity. 
Evans. Arboin commits the foul and the yellow card is going to be shown in his direction. And that will be his last bit of action there. Yeah, unnecessary from Arboin. That was a pretty high foot there from Flemings. I was surprised that there wasn't a whistle on that play for his challenge on Cunningham. But then Arboin, he just didn't need that, re that kind of reaction from him. Such a solid game. Two goals for the Arnett Gardens, number 12. A really good shift. And just a blemish at the end there. He yeah, would have lost a couple of fantasy points. Gerald Neal comes on in his stead with a smile on his face. Obviously, a defensive change made by uh, Xavier Gilbert. Kenelda Brown also comes on in place of Jaheim Thomas, who, to be fair, looked a little spent. Can't even tell if Arnett Gardens were more like themselves, but they did play some fantastic football in that first half. Just the second half, they've been a little sloppy, although Malines United have been unable to capitalize. O'Connor tries to do that now. Ball played inside, and Scott deflected effort is wide of the mark. And they have a corner kick, Malines United. He was lucky still to get away, shot Tevin Scott. I actually wonder why he checked back when that ball came to him. Why not take it on the half turn? Just look at this there. Yeah, because the first touch wasn't the best. Yeah. So actually brought Evans into the play. Here's Malines United again. Placed inside, and oh, that's a forced header wide of the mic. Mark, I'm not even sure if he was in the best position there, O'Connor. Yeah, I think Cooper was trying to say to him, I was there. But O'Connor said, well, I didn't hear you. Say something. There are about three more Lions players lining up for the finish. But it's been a story of their game so far. Just not organized well. Just not well enough organized. Based on the chances that we've seen Malines United create, you wonder how joyous Arne Gans will be with this result. Mind you, even the best Arne Gans teams would have conceded quite a bit. They just outscore their opponents. So how much would they take from this victory on it Gardens? That's the question I'd ask you, Chris Taylor. Well, the Arnett Gardens philosophy has always been, you know, you can score me, but I'll score more. So I don't think they'll be too perturbed. Yes, they would probably like to tighten up a bit, but I don't think my Lions have had a lot of chances. I think they have had some half chances. Palmer's ball inside, not a bad one to Jason Wright looking for space, but he was closed on all the time. And this one placed inside the area, and there's Eric Edwards in the way, taking control of the situation. Neil. Brown, Cunningham, ball played inside the area, Warner Brown with another chance, can he finish? And the deflected effort is wide of the mark in the end, they were teeing up there, two and of them inside the box. And again it's Shepard, first he was wide of the right upright, now wide of the left upright. <laughs> Good take it was initially from Warner Brown. There was questions of a handball, had a strike there, good block by Cooper. And then, yeah, 
the strike from Shepard, wide of the mark. So Arne Gardens, they have a corner kick here as they look to add a, a fifth goal, but a change is being made. And yeah, Javon Brown has had a, a long day. Sujat McLeet McBean comes on to replace him. And it with a corner kick taken short. Or Sujay McBean, I should say. So Jay McBean has come on to replace him, the number 12. Nelson. Warner Brown, Shepard, trying to slip that one through, couldn't. End to end stuff at the moment. Again, a wasted ball. Another wasted long ball by Malign tonight in this game. And here comes Arne Gardens on the prowl. And it's Neil. Delightful ball across. He should have scored. Warner Brown knows that he should have scored there from point blank range. And how did he not hit the target there? I don't know, but it was a magnificent delivery from Gerald Neal. It almost looked labored getting down that right side, but the delivery into the box was a peach. And the quality that Warner Brown has shown from schoolboy level, he definitely should have buried that. He's had a couple of chances today, Warner Brown, that when he's sharp, those are in the back of the net. He is razor when he is. But today, yeah, he's needed a bit of, he's needed a file. And the guns with a corner kick. Taking the time about this. Kenelda Brown going across to take their fourth corner. Here it comes. And a chance for Warner Brown again over the top. Yeah, that one was quite difficult though. Pretty high. And was was always going to be going over, never able to co control that header. So Janae is downstairs with the DJ of the night. I wonder if she's going to be spinning some tunes as well. Janae? I was once a DJ, Donald, but not today. I'm a host today. I'm here with Ian Fuller. Ian, I need, I need to know your DJ name. Ian Fuller, but I spell it a different way. But I use the name Ian Fuller. Okay, you're at every single Premier League match or is it just some Monday nights? Some, not everyone. Okay, Ian, I need, I need a one tune, your favourite tune from your favourite artist. My favourite tune? No, you have to play it. Oh, I have to play my favourite Yeah, man, find a tune. Any tune. Any tune, any tune. Any tune. Right, okay. But you have to show me how to do it now, you know. You want me to turn it up? Yeah. So what am I supposed to do now? No, you can't screw it up. Yeah! <laughs> All right, Ian, so you keep the vibes right, but I don't send any rain nephew cups. How do you keep the vibe up for the Jamaica Premier League matches? No, well, I'm cool enough, because I know I'm not drinking liquor and them things. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm cool, I'm cool. I have some music give me the energy. All right, well, the vibes is right here at, the at Stadium East. Donald and Chris, keep the vibes going. Back to you. That doesn't look like an experienced turntable. Specialists we saw there from Jeanne. She looked yeah. a little bit nervous. I'm not sure what to make of it. 
she scratched it rather than mixed it. Again! <laughs> I think it was a scratch. Well done. I think, I think they need to check for damage. Here's Malines United trying to get forward once more. Or the groove. <laughs> I don't know how she came into the commentary box so quickly. <laughs> so, we take a look at the Sports Max app moment, and according to Chris Taylor's goal of the season, mind you, we're in match week two. So, you know, there could be some time for more, but it was a really good goal. Arboine, Thomas, Shepard, who shepherded it to Arboine, and he scored. Wonderful touches around the box. Yep. Straight out the training ground, you'd think. And Arboine with the finish. And that's the Sportsmax app. Moment of the game, courtesy of the Sportsmax app. Download it today from the Google Play or the App Store. There's Kimani Arboin, taking off, has a wink to go with it, two goals. Only scored once last season, so he's already doubled his tally. And he's a prime contender for man of the match, Kimani Arboin, based on his performance. Yeah, and I don't Took think his I, goal as well. I don't think I can disagree with you for once, Chris Taylor. Oh, that's amazing. It is amazing, actually. I need to think about it some more. <laughs> Doesn't happen too often. <laughs> Mobe United warming up. They, of course, will be playing Waterhouse FC up next. There's Waterhouse. Mm. I've loved all the jerseys so far in the Premier League. <laughs> this one will really be your biggest test in terms of the numbers, I can tell you that. Oh my goodness. When you thought everything was going to be okay. Wow. With that cement finish. Anyway, they have one dazzling number 23 now, newly inserted into their starting team. From one Nicoy Christian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excited to see what he'll bring to this Waterhouse setup. haven't been very inspiring at all. It's been quite disappointing their performance based on what we saw last week and did expect an improved performance from the Lions and for them to be much closer, closely, much more closely matched with this Arnett team. Well done, well done. Again, again, hey, near drop, near drop. Can they at least get a consolation here? Trying to find Jason Wright. We're hearing three minutes of stoppages will be played at the end of the 90. Scott collects. Not being sense ball inside the area. Malines looking to get a goal back here. Clearance made by Arnett. 
Palmer. Come on. Matt Bean. Let's go, we're relaxed. Hey, come on, come on, we got three to go again. Come on. Confirmation of the three minutes. Rainer, come on! Can you stop my Come on! Try to take it quickly. Nice turn from Jason Wright. Still right. Right! Hey, hey, oh, easy, man. Come on! Oh, it was a little bit off. Cunningham. Evans. That's a lovely switch of play, no? Here they come again, my lines United. Botanic Gardens back in numbers. Cunningham couldn't get it away and here's an opportunity for right and it's an open net here and the charge down in full effect denying Jaheim Palmer come on come on let's go let's go hey let's go nice build up Cunningham trying to take it down initially exposed and yeah the pass to Palmer wasn't the best and it required too much and that's the end of the game and it's 4-0 uh, the score line to Anik Gardens Juana Brown on the score sheet Kimani Arboin getting a couple goals as well he was substituted in the second half Philander Wing also in amongst the goals starting out the proceedings for the junglists getting his first goal in the Premier League and uh, Arnegans, they were on easy street most of the evening. Malayan United will have to regroup once again. After 90 minutes, Arnett Gardens in complete control based on the scoreline 4 0. Let's take a look at the full-time highlights here. Shea Smith's effort straight to goalkeeper Maximus Davis. Then Arboin playing this one inside and Warner Brown's effort. Taking a deflection and going wide of the mark. Shepard's ball inside was cleared out. 
And then Philando Wing driving this one. And Davis moving across to his right. Got a hand on it, but it was not strong enough. And Wing celebrating his first goal in the Jamaica Premier League. Driving effort. And Wing on the score sheet. Right. Now Livingston and he dragged that one. Took a slight deflection there. And Arboine, he was having fun. Wing sending it across and couldn't quite convert on that occasion. And it gardens Livingston with a wonderful ball inside. And that was pushed over by Richard Smith, the header coming in from Jason Wright. And Wright instrumented again into the path of Simpson, who really should have done better there. And this was a lovely run by Jaheem Thomas. Laying it off to Smith. Smith on a platter. And uh, came off Warner Brown. Tried to clear his line, Tajay Cooper. But right into the path of the onrushing Warner Brown. And then Arboyne. Looks so dangerous on the left hand side and took a shot. And it took a wicked deflection. It was going goalwards. Yeah, but the deflected effort flew past Maximum Maximus Davis. And Arboyne again touching it inside and this was a really good goal playing it around the area Shepard with the final pass to Arboine getting a second of the game and uh, wonderful finish there looked a lot more dangerous on the left hand side Arboine cut again and he was very much involved in the interplay there and that was the fourth of the game. Could have put one back before the halftime interval. Malines United. Wonderful turn that was to Raj Andrews. And then the finish left a lot to be desired. In the second half now, so much open space for Anik Gardens. Jamon Shepard should have opened his scoring there in the Jamaica Premier League. Still looking for his first goal, Shepard. And then this effort from Tevin Scott, who came on as a substitute in the second half, deflected wide, and then Warner Brown having a couple of bites here, a couple of blocks. He'll set it up for Jamon Shepard, who, again, didn't do a lot with it. And then Gerald Neal with a delightful ball inside, and Warner Brown from point blank range. In the aftermath of that, he could only go on bended knees. Should have scored. He knows it. On another day, he could have had a hat trick. And then that was a wonderful block by Eric Edwards, denying Jaheim Palmer. Malines United had 13 shots, three of which were on target. And the guns had four of their 14 or six of their 14 shots on target the 26 fouls committed in this game a couple of the other guard cards were shown to the arnic gardens men malines united had more corner kicks but arnic gardens had more possession at 57 percent kimani first of all congratulations on your management match performances for performance just one goal last season two goals now in two games for you it's an excellent start yeah, I've been working, I've been, I, I looked at the pass and I see I need to score more goals and that's what I've been working on all pre-season long. In the first match you played as a central striker, today out wide, you seem more comfortable in that position, do you rather that? Well, it's the coach decision, wherever I perform at, in training, he put me there and I was playing well at the wing for the last week, so I guess he took the chance and put me out on the wing and it was well deserved. It's certainly working for you, Kimani. Congrats on the game today, and we look forward to seeing more goals from you this season. Yeah, for sure. That's the aim. Um, the team, there's a, there have been a lot of doubt in the team, and 
We are here to prove a point, prove to all the people, all who said, keep players them gone. Yeah, we there same way, most of us. The youngsters them work with them, get the thing together, get the core and yeah, move forward. Well, you made a big point today. Congrats, all the best. Yeah, thank you. Kimani Arboin there, our man of the match for today with his two goals and his first two goals of the season as well. Commanding performance for Arnett Gardens. Alex Thomas now. Alex, from a Malines perspective, too slow a start. I thought, especially in the first half, you awarded too much space to the Arnett Gardens attackers and they hurt you. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, slow start. I always remind them how we start the first 15 minutes and how we end the game. And we started slow, lethargic, you know, and uh, that, what, that pay, we have to pay for it, you know, and that's what Arnett did. Last season, the fourth highest scoring team. This season, 180 minutes, no goals. No goals, and we have to keep working, um, try to find the right chemistry up front, and, and, and we have to just go back to the, the, the playing surface and try to find. Just, it's early days, you know, nevertheless, we keep working. Just a point from the two games so far. Any positives to take away from this one, even though it was a losing result? Positiveness. Um, we started a bit of second half, look more energy, more vibrant. And, you know, we, we, you can see that we have um, a lot of prospect in our team and we have to just believe, you know, and keep working. We expect lots of work from you in the weeks to come, Alex. All the best going forward. Thank you. Alex Thomas then coming out on the losing end of things with this 4-0 defeat. Xavier Gilbert... Well, Gabe, Xavier, the first we've seen you on the sidelines in the Arnett Garden shirt this season, and it's been a wonderful start for you, a, yeah, a big 4-0 win. Yeah, good start. Um, so I must commend um, the players for how they executed tonight. You know, the, um, the objective was to go right at them early, and um, it, it worked for us. You know, um, good start, first couple of minutes, uh, and then, I mean, we, we, that set the tone. You know, early goal, and then another one came, and then... So after that first half, it was good. And it was just for us now to manage the proceedings onwards. I'm not sure if it was your presence, but the mindset of the, of the boys seemed different today. It, they were very aggressive from early, and that's what paid dividends in terms of getting the early lead, and that set the tone. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, and as I said, that was the objective, to go right at them. Um, I think, um, and sometimes it, it, you have to assess the, the opposition, you know, I think. You know, we came a little bit early, I know the traffic on the road and, and, and thing, and I think they weren't settled. And, and I mean, that also we decided that, hey, we're going to go at them and see how it works out. And it paid dividend for us. Um, and I have to leave my hearts off to them, you know, they, they, they wanted to make sure that I had a good birthday too, you know. So, I mean, this is their, their, their present for me. So, um, three points in the back, that's good. Congrats to you. All the best going forward. We look forward to more Arnett Gardens matches. Thanks, yeah. I look forward to more situations like this, you know. Yeah, he walks away with a smile on his face and why shouldn't he? He saw his team put in a, a really good performance in securing this 4-0 win over Milan United. And with that, Arnett Gardens get the three points on the board.